removing and disassembling the checkpoint pump motor end. You will need the following tools, wrenches, a size 7 16 half, 9 16 and 3 quarter inch wrench. You'll also need snap ring pliers, a pick, chemical gloves and safety glasses. We just took the checkpoint 1250 pump offline. All checkpoint pumps have the top serial number plate. The plate clearly has a serial number and the checkpoint logo. A white label on the side of the pump indicates the components of your checkpoint pump. It contains the following information. Plunger material and plunger diameter, packing material and check valve material. We start by loosening and removing the check valves using a 3 quarter inch wrench. Then we remove the head bolts using a half inch wrench. Remove the head. This will expose your plunger. Inspect your plunger for damage. Use the pick to remove the retainer ring. Push out the cross pin. Remove the plunger and set aside. Next, we're going to break down the motor. Remove your tubing with a 916th inch wrench. Loosen the bolts on the bottom flange using a 7 16 inch wrench. Remove your bottom flange. Remove the cylinder O-ring, U-cup rod seal, and the rod bushing from the bottom flange and set aside. Remove the cylinder. Remove the piston from the cylinder. Inspect the inside of the cylinder for scarring. Remove the crown seal from the piston using a pick. Take care not to damage the surface. Remove the cylinder o-ring from the top flange. Use the snap ring pliers to remove the snap ring and the top flange. Use the pick to remove both U-cup seals. Remove the bolt on the top cover bolts using a 7 16 inch wrench. The top cover bolts to the top flange, which holds the housing. Remove the top cover. 
Remove the O-ring between the top cover and the housing. Pull the housing off, set aside. Remove the top flange O-ring and then remove the spool seal. Remove the alignment screw from the housing using a 7 16 inch wrench. Push out the seal, taking care not to damage the D-slides. The spool has two D-slides. Inspect both the spool and D-slides for cuts or damage. Use snap ring pliers to remove the snap ring. Remove the spacer and rod seal from the spool. Finally, remove the two U-cup seals from the housing. That completes the motor breakdown of a Checkpoint 1250 pump.